So we are going to use MATLAB to sketch a solution of this linear differential equation uh, rather with an initial value problem or with an initial value y at 0 equals 1 on the interval 0 to with a step size 0 0.05. So let's see how to go about it. So the way we go about it is this, that we start at 0, 1 and for, so we will go step by step. So when we are taking the y i plus oneth value of y, and I'm assuming that you know how Euler's method works here. So we will take the previous y value and our step size is 0 0.05. So we will take 0 0.05. And then what we are going to do is we are just going to multiply the multiply with the slope, okay? And the slope will be according to what? According to the uh, previous point, right? So here you have this as your steps for the Euler's method, okay? So this is how we start with zero one, then compute the next point so we will call it y2 y3 etc etc let me just give you a quick demo so you can note this that here we will write t and here we will write our y so when t is 0 we know that y is 1 right then the next uh, t would be what we are adding point zero 0.05 our step size and then what i would do i'll take the previous value plus point zero five okay times then the previous value which is one minus two times what is the previous value here zero so that's a zero square and then what so this will be a one so this is simple this is simply one point zero five all right then the next point is point zero five plus point zero five is point one all right now what i would do this time is that i'll take the previous y value and then again multiply it by this step size okay and then this time what i would do here i'll write one point zero five the y value in the very previous step and uh, then what I have minus two times and now the x value here is 0 0.05 okay so we will uh, just uh, substitute that and uh, let's see what this turns out to be okay that is uh, this will be 1.10 uh, Two to five, and we will just proceed in this manner. So what we are going to do is we are going to have MATLAB do all this computation for us. Okay. Now let us bring the MATLAB command window, and uh, uh, remember this: that here you have. We are going in the steps of point zero five, and we are on the interval zero two. So we are going to have to have how many? Two divided by uh, 0 0.05, that is uh, 40 steps. So to accommodate that, what we would do is, so let's ask MATLAB to create uh, 40, 40 values of, sorry, 41 values of T here, okay? And then for y, since we will calculate y at these values, let's have equally many values for y. All right. And then our initial point uh, or our initial value for value for t is 0. And our initial value for y is how much here? Uh, that's, a, that's a 1. Okay. So we got that. And now what we would do is this, that uh, for i equals, uh, sorry, uh, 1 through 40, okay, because we are going in 40 steps, what we are going to tell it is that uh, have each subsequent value of i would be t 
Ti plus 0 0.05. So, and then for Yi plus 1, what we have now, this will be a little more involved because first we'll bring the slope in. And what is the slope? The, the previous value of Y plus, oh, no, sorry, oh, it's a minus. Then uh, uh, what we have, two times previous value of T square, so also two, then we have to put a period to stress that we are multiplying arrays. And uh, then we have Ti, and then we put a period again, okay, so that Ti is square, right? And uh, then what we are, just a second, so now what we are going to do is uh, this, one moment, I think I got an extra bracket here, okay, so let's check, okay, so we got this, okay, all right, so here, okay, so we, we had that extra bracket, I'm sorry, okay, so then we are multiplying with what, the step size, right, and then put semicolon, and now we end, you know, telling it to do this calculation for us from in 40 steps, all right, now if you say plot T Y, then it should give you a plot of the solution and here is a plot for you, okay? So that is, you know, starting at zero, 01, going all the way to uh, t equals 2 and here is your, uh, you know, y equals 0 axis, all right? Now, let's write an M file. That was the objective of our uh, video here. So what we will do is in which we would, uh, you know, like to change the function here. Say we have uh, the slope given by a different function. We should be able to give that function, uh, just write that in terms of a general function. So let me, let me not talk too much and just get to the writing that M file for you. All right, so what is M file? In M file, I'll just, you know, code this all. All right, and then we will execute our command through that M file. So now I'm confining ourselves to just MATLAB. So to write that M file, let's ask it for a new script. So here it gives us the, you know, a space to write our script. So what we want to do in our script is this, that we want to write a function, okay? And we want our values of T, Y, right? and that is equal to, let's give this the name Euler, all right? And uh, what we would like to do is this, let me just uh, move this over to the left a little, okay? So right here, good. Okay, so Euler. Now here F will be our general function, okay? And then I'm saying that I'll give you an initial value of T, and then an initial value of y, okay? And then the end point, remember in this example, our end point was two, but we should be able to change that end point, all right? And uh, then n will be the uh, number of points or number of steps that I will execute, okay? Like n here was how many? 40 in the previous case, so, we, we should be able to change the values of n, okay? And then instead of writing the step size as uh, delta t, let's just write it as h. So this is b minus, and what we would do is, we will say, uh, just a moment, uh, the initial value of t, which was zero in our case, right? And divided by how much? The number of steps, okay? And then what we are going to do is that, uh, remember earlier we wanted uh, uh, 41 points for T, so we will say, okay, here I want how many? N plus one values for T, and then for Y, we would like uh, 
n plus uh, sorry one values as well okay so we are just repeating the same thing in more general terms okay and my first value of t would be what the initial point value of t okay so we put that in and uh, for the first value of y we will designate the same thing that the initial value of y for uh, of y in this case okay now as we did here for i from 1 to 40 what we are going to do now is for i equals 1 to n this time right okay we would do this that uh, t i plus 1 would be what t i plus and then here it will be who here it will be h right so we'll say well that's t i plus h and now when we go to y i plus 1 of course we are going to add to y i but now we have to bring in the slope and the slope is uh, what here the slope is uh, actually let's put let's multiply by this step size first so that i don't forget and okay so the slope is remember we are talking about uh, general function f here so the slope is the value of f at t i y i okay and now we are going to end the script and we have to save this script as an m file so what i would do is it's here and by default on my computer it takes it to documents and then there is a matlab uh, uh, folder in the documents and i'm letting it uh, have the name euler all right so here we got this and now we can do this we can go back to the command window so say now we want to sketch the solution on the interval 0 2 which is step size of point 0 1 and step size of point 0 1 means I'll be doing 2 divided by point 0 1 that is 200 excuse me that is 200 steps now in here first we will have to define our function here because this is in terms of a generic function f all right so we can do that the following way that is we'll say this that at t y uh, treat f as the following that is take uh, so what was it it was uh, y is square right so we'll say y is square uh, minus how much uh, no it was not y square i'm sorry it was simply y minus 2 times what t is square right so i'm asking it to take my function as that okay and uh, then i am going to recall that t y is what what did we define that as uh, simply you know these guys all right so I mean I can type it in so f I have already defined and the initial value of t is 0 the initial value of y is 1 uh, remember we are on the interval 0 2 right and n is how many here we got n equals 200 let's put semicolon here otherwise it will just print all those values for us and if we say plot t y then it's going to give us a plot with hopefully where is the plot okay a plot with uh, 200 steps okay all right so if you want you can use the same m file to solve a different initial value problem where the slope is given by this initial value is at y at 0 is 1 i didn't change it say the interval is 0 5 and the step size is 0 0.01 now step size is 0 0.01 uh, means how many steps shall we need in the process 
we shall need 500 steps so let's bring our MATLAB up here okay so what I would do is that I'm just going to uh, define my function at uh, ty I could have changed instead of f at ty to g at ty but that's okay so oh no sorry I have to keep it f, f because I wrote f here so the function there is how is defined by this expression right so what I would do is that I'll tell that my function is uh, uh, defined by the exponential of negative t square right and then what what I have next is that I have sine y added to it okay so this is my function defined here okay and then I can just ask as before to bring in to just execute the steps of that Euler M file here okay and <coughs> and what is that that is uh, again F then I got 0 I got 1 right and uh, then my last end point is 5 as we had 2 here and now and then my number of steps are 500 now let's ask it to plot ty okay and uh, it should give us that plot let me bring it bring that for you okay so here is the plot for this solution of this initial value problem with the step size of 0 0.01 and on the interval 0 0.5 so hope that helps you a little better all right thank you